Israel's right to defend. Yes. yes. Israel has the right to defend itself. Every country does. But Israel has no right to impose an occupation on people. Now, look, I was born in Hungary. In 1956, when I was 13, studying for Bar Mitzvah, there was the Great Hungarian Revolution against Soviet occupation. And uh, it was after that revolution that we became refugees and came to Canada. Now, did Russia have the right to defend itself against the Hungarian revolutionaries? You know, so the, and, and mostly when we talk about Israel's right of defense, we're taking isolated Palestinian actions, but we're not saying that this population also has the right to defend against the, against the occupation. I'm not justifying the, the terrible events of October the 7th. I'm talking in the absence of historical awareness. It all just looks like Israel defending itself. But against whom? Against the population that has been massacring in a number of thousands for 80 years and taking their lands and destroying their homes and jailing their children and torturing them. That's the history. Now, unless we know that, it all looks like this poor little country trying to defend itself. But against whom? Against people that's been occupying and displacing for 80 years. That's the history, as Israeli historians have shown. I don't make this stuff up. I wish it wasn't true. I wish I could believe in the dream of the Jewish state. I love that dream. Except I found out at what price, at what nightmare, that imposed on the Palestinians.